everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. I make videos on career, education, and lifestyle. I'm so happy to be sitting here in front of you today. A lot has changed in the last six or seven months that I haven't been on YouTube. I have short hair now, I have a new job, everything's different. <laughs> so I'm excited to give you updates and also get into today's video. So to be honest with you, I went through a bit of a tough time six or seven months ago when I was still working in consulting and honestly I was getting a bit burnt out. It was a lot for me to handle that as well as YouTube. So I decided to take a step back and really reevaluate where I was at. And I'm really glad I did that because it allowed me to interview and get a new position. I now work as a manager in People Analytics and I'm really excited about the role and everything that that entails. I will say I did film some content here and there in the past few months and I'll release that as I can. So stay tuned for that. But I'm really actually excited for today's video. Today's video is about the differences between a certificate versus a master's degree in business analytics. Many of you have been asking me, hey, should I just go for a certificate instead? I'm really confused about which is better for me. Both of these programs are more practical and accelerated and they can help, especially if you didn't get an undergraduate degree in analytics computer science or something more technical. However, there are some distinct differences that I want to get into. So the difference really is depth versus breadth, right? So really this comes down to being a function of time. A master's degree is typically a year to two years, whereas a certificate is three months to six months. So you can see by the time difference, right? You generally can't cover as much as you cover in a master's degree in a certificate program. The second topic that I want to get into is perceptions in the workplace, right? In my mind, honestly, a person that goes for a master's is different than a person that goes for a certificate. I feel if you're already sort of in the data space or you know, you're working with numbers now and then, but you really want to dig deep and get some content, knowledge, expertise on a particular subject, then the certificate might be really great for you. However, if you want to do a totally different career pivot, right, a master's might help you get there a bit more. I will say that education is important, however, that's just one section of your resume, right? Employers are also really keen to see some work experience, and I'll do a little teaser that I'm going to do an entire separate video on how to get some really relevant data experience, no matter what your job is. And now we're gonna talk about Financials. <laughs> now, in terms of the cost, a certificate degree usually costs around $2,500 to maybe $5,000 at the most, whereas a master's degree will probably cost you around 25 to 30 times that amount, right? And uh, on top of that, you're also losing a year to two in the workplace, which also adds to your cost, overall cost, when you think about it. Now we're gonna talk about everyone's favorite, or maybe the least favorite topic, Immigration. So I know I threw the passport, but I don't want you to throw away your immigration opportunities <laughs> because on a certificate, you can't get an F1 benefit actually. So an F1 visa is a student visa, right? And that's what you, you'll use to come to the US. So for a certificate, you can't really get an immigration benefit, but for a master's degree, you do qualify for your F1 visa and then can get the OPT and later the STEM OPT and continue to work in the US. And now, time to look at some degrees and get serious. All right, I wanna get into one from Wharton. It's from, it's called Executive Education and it's called Business Analytics from Data to Insight. Now it's nine weeks long, it's online, and it's six to eight hours a week, right? So from the cost, you can see it costs about 25, 30 US dollars. Very interesting. And really when you look at what, who this program is for, it says it's for C-suite executives, it's for mid to senior level managers, and it's for analysts. When you're covering everyone, I don't know what they're trying to do because if you're catering to everyone, you're really catering to no one, right? In terms of the program modules, there seem to be nine modules, so I'm guessing each takes about a week. 
you are getting into some descriptive analytics, predictive and prescriptive analytics. However, I'm just not sure how much depth you really get into here. Um, yeah, now looking at the methods and tools, we see some regression analytics, forecasting, A-B testing. I will say we covered some of these in my master's program, but we had an entire class around it, not necessarily a one week topic. You do earn a certificate from Wharton, which is cool. However, it's just, yeah, I don't know. I just don't know how much value someone would get, especially because it's recorded video faculty lectures, right? You're not really getting much exposure to people or actual professors. And you know, they're saying there's moderated discussion groups, but again, I really don't know how much you're gonna interact with anyone here. So don't let these big brands fool you into thinking that it's the right degree for you. All right, let's now get into a program that I actually did. It's the MQM Business Analytics Program at Duke. Highly recommend it. It is a STEM certified program, so that means that you will be get, able to work for three years, right? After you graduate, I actually know the guy there who was in my particular year. So let's actually explore this program a little bit. It's actually a 10 month program. And in looking at the curriculum, there's technical courses, functional courses, as well as some critical thinking and collaboration courses. So some of the things that the certificate covered for a week, as you can see, there's an entire course, right, on data visualization, whereas that might just be a small module in the certificate program. There's also cool classes like decision analytics and modeling. There's a little capstone project as well. But here's the kicker, guys. It's gonna be expensive, the tuition and cost. It's about $75,000. It actually went up a little bit since I was there. But yeah, it seems like the cost of these master's programs are now going down. So that's just something to keep in mind. However, I will say I had a great time in the program and really felt like I learned a lot. All right, in terms of my recommendation for you, if you already have some solid work experience and you want to get the certificate just to get more in-depth knowledge, then that's when I would really recommend the certificate, right? It's just the cherry on top of everything that you've already done. However, if you're looking for a total career pivot, okay, that was too slow, <laughs> total career pivot, then I would actually recommend that you get the master's degree. I've talked about this in other videos, but that's what allowed me to go from my psychology degree to analytics and I've really enjoyed everything that I've done since then. And I really don't think I would have gotten there without the master's degree. So look at where you are and then decide from there. I will say I had to take on debt to do the degree, but it has paid off. I mean, in the first year I was making more than my debt was, right? And I was able to pay it off. So keep that in mind as well, just your financials when you're considering which route to take. Thank you so much for watching today's video. That's it. I'm really honestly so happy to be back and making videos again. I really miss the creative process of it. And honestly, also thank you to so many of you that reached out to me in my time away and were like, hey, what's going on? Are you good? And uh, just reached out to ask questions. I really appreciated it. And thank you so much for being a part of this family. I'm so happy that we're back in this together and we're gonna continue this journey. See you in my next video. Bye. Okay, so you know what my pet peeve is? When you're in an airport, or not airport, airplane, and the, the flight attendant's like, oh, which juice do you want? And was like, pineapple juice. And like, we only offer apple and orange. And I'm like, this is the biggest atrocity ever because pineapple juice is where it's at. All the airlines need to get on its staff because it's just too good.